Hello smart viewers, welcome back to BNews TV face to face with me Barry Mayer. Today's topic is a bit special because we're going to talk about love from today's perspective. First, even the definitive meaning of the love itself has many options. So here we would like to talk about it with our guest later. First, let's let's trace back to the history like how some in some culture the affection of or the passionate form of love can take in any form. For example, in some culture, they have this form of love in the sort of patriarchy domination. Or in some culture, there's also matriarchy form of love. And like if we are talking about this love definition itself, it is really broad. Like for example, how today social media form the perspective of the love itself how the social norms can make something taboo or else not taboo anymore like we can see in this globalization world we can see how open we are how a meaning of something can be dynamic and how flow or fluent it can be so stay tuned with us and we're going to talk more about love from today's perspective. So stay tuned with us in Venus TV face to face with me, Barry. Hello smart viewers, welcome back to Business TV face to face. And here we are with Omar Sharif. Yo, what's up? What's up? So, <laughs> uh, probably the viewers want to know a bit about yourself. So, can you introduce yourself to the viewers perhaps? Sure. Uh, my name is Omar Sharif. Well, my yeah, pretty, pretty much the basic information of my life is my major is mass communication and my life is pretty much boring. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Why is it boring? I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, and I live near this place, so yeah. Okay. Basically, that's all. Okay, so today's topic is about love from today's perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, we can see how dynamic the meaning of love itself. Do you have your own meaning of love, perhaps? Uh, the definition of love is kind of big, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and wide. Mm -hmm. We will talk about love every single day, but what is love? Mm -hmm. And my perspective of love is by being kind to others. That's all, I think. Being kind to others. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I imply that you're also uh, working in this uh, radio or in media, <laughs> in media world, right? You have your research, man. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then, I, from what I can see also that you are pretty conscious about the the situation, especially in social media world. And we can see, for example, a hashtag, where is the love? <laughs> and we can see also that it, it's reaching its uh, prominency in today's, to, today's era. Like, I don't know, like, I think it's, mm -hmm. it's getting famous, that hashtag. What do you think about that? I think it's kind of awesome because mm -hmm. lately, a lot of people are being so numb to what they say mm -hmm. on social media. They could say a lot of explicit words and then Okay, F this. I mean, like, fudge this. It's okay mm -hmm. to say mean stuff about others and judge them and stuff like that. And now, uh, knowing that this hashtag, where is the love, mm -hmm. is kind of trending, I'm pretty much joining the team. I'm like, yeah, why don't we just spread the love? We have this base, we have this social media, media that we can use. Why can't we use that as in making and spreading love? Why do we spread hate? I don't even know why. Okay, so basically, you're in this team, right? Mm -hmm. You're in this team of this hashtag, where is the love? How uh, do you think you can make like sort of real impact in this by advoc advocating the l the hashtag itself? How do you think it can impact someone? Because there's a lot of people out there who use social media, mm -hmm. but they're insecure in some kind of way. Maybe they have this certain body that a lot of people, a lot of people who have maybe a slimmer body or mm -hmm. something like that, and this particular person can't have it, and then that person will be like more insecure and then they they will be much more how do i say this where is the word where is the love <laughs> where is the where love, is the love? Uh -huh. i mean uh, they'll be w very insecure and then they use this social media for 
something to say mean stuff about others. Mm -hmm. For example, I have this slim body, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have this big body, and then you're you're like, okay. Uh, I take my picture on Instagram, let's say. Yeah, uh, let's say, and then you're 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 going to like comment on my picture and and then say. Okay, why are you, why God is being so unfair mm -hmm. of giving you this particular body of this particular face, and why can I have it? And then you're going to be mean and say it on social media, but doesn't show your real ID. Get oh. it? And mm -hmm. then just making making a fake ID and then just like calling names to other people like that's low key shady, and I don't like that kind of person. I mean, okay, so you think from this hashtag you can a advocate something? Yeah, and I mean, send a message to s to a lot of social media users. Yeah, man. I mean, with a small thing, like mm -hmm. uh, even a hashtag could do something, man. I mean, like spreading the love isn't that hard, right? Okay, uh, but some people, like you can see in the social media how when something is trending, mm -hmm. some people would just follow it without knowing the essence. Oh, what man. is your opinion about that? <laughs> <laughs> like talking you can see a lot like that. I know, man. Talking about things like that, I actually have this yeah, it's yeah. They irk me because they follow this trend like where's the love, and then they doesn't even know what the yeah. real or true meaning of it, and then they're going to be like, oh yeah, girl, oh yeah, guys, like spread the hashtag, spread the love, but doesn't even know what they're saying, and then they're going to like post a picture and then make a caption hashtag uh, where's the love, mm -hmm. but and the other and the next day they're going to talk about their friends. Uh, that's not cool. Okay, so you have to know what you are implementing by yeah. giving that hashtag because we can see like in Facebook or in another social media like Instagram, mm -hmm. like we can see some people would change their filters to I don't know French flag or <laughs> yeah. those ra the rainbow oh. filter as well. Oh yeah, like yeah. like they okay. I I don't know if they really support it, but. Mm -hmm. I think they're just following trends. Yeah. But I, I don't know, probably some people is really implementing mm -hmm. it like you because you know what message you are going to mm -hmm. give to the to the person, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you think uh, the social media of or this I don't know, the flow of information in this mm -hmm. era can affect the perception of love itself? Because like for example, we talk about where's the love and we we can go to another topic like the how to love yourself, how to love mm -hmm. your body, mm -hmm. do not shame others and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How do you think it changes? It changes a lot actually. I mean, I am one of the particular person who gets that shady thingy because I have a long hair. Mm -hmm. And people here, now people here are like, okay, why are you, you're a guy and why oh. do you want to have a long hair? And I was like, come on, don't like prejudice me off because yeah. having a hair. And then I have this earpiece, right? Mm -hmm. Like things like that is kind of taboo here still. And that's kind of shocked me. And I was like trying to give them a message of, well, people could be anybody mm -hmm. and anybody could be anybody did that they wanted, right? Like, for example, mm -hmm. you're wearing a glasses. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you're a geek or something like that. Yeah. Me, myself, <laughs> I wear glasses, but I'm cool. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, we, the two of us are like pretty, pretty much have a lot of differences, but mm -hmm. we, same, we wear the same glasses. That means we're human, right? We have the same common thing, mm -hmm. we wear glasses, but that doesn't mean we're the same person, right? So I was like trying to, s to like tell people and how do I say this? Advocate or Advocate. Ad advocating or something? Or campaigning something. Campaigning, yeah. Uh. Like trying to campaigning about where is the love by do actually doing like love. Love mm -hmm. doesn't that doesn't mean you have to like in doing intimacy stuff mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. touching and stuff like yeah. that. That's that's weird. But I, what I meant was like actually spreading some good things like doing kind stuff to others and then when people ask you for their uh, when people ask you for their help, wait, wait when they need help, mm -hmm. when they need your help and stuff like that, you don't ask for things like uh, money or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just do it because you want to be nice. Like uh, let's make it as a our common sense. Mm -hmm. Spread this love. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, that's that's really interesting. And like you can see uh, where where we are living now, uh, and yeah. there are a lot of social norms, and they would oh, yes. give you this like. Bro, you have the social norm. 
we are implementing this so you cannot do this what, uh, like yeah. what is that i'm i'm That's pretty sure it's affecting the term of the love itself yeah and how it's more like bro code thing you know mm -hmm. the bro code if mm -hmm. you have if if you're dating my girlfriend mm -hmm. and then uh if if you if you're dating my girlfriend that means we're not friends anymore uh -huh. well actually i don't want to do that kind of stuff but there's this code and the norm code that we need to like actually understand mm -hmm. and sometimes when we we're doing nice stuff, people will think that, okay, why are you doing that kind of stuff? I mean, he doesn't need your help or she doesn't need your help, but that doesn't mean you can't help, man, right? And then these people in the social the social norm that this a lot of people use mm -hmm. that they don't even understand where does that thing come from? Okay, I almost say the explicit word. <laughs> and then, sorry, you will just like bleep that. And then, beep. beep. And then I was like trying to show them that you can do nice stuff without people asking you to do nice stuff. You can do it because of your common sense, because you want it to, because you are feel the need, to, the urge to help somebody. Like, it's easy, man. Like, okay, let's take another example. The hashtag love wins. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really, it's really viral, it's really big. Uh -huh. But when you bring it here, some people would complain like, no, this is not suitable with our norms. Then how's uh -huh. that? But like, we have this good intention of spreading, mm -hmm. spreading the love, mm -hmm. right? But, mm -hmm. but why some people were still giving prejudice with the norm, the social norm as their basis, especially mm -hmm. religious norms? Oh man, mm -hmm. talking about religious. Well, there's a lot of people who's actually re really, re really, really religious, but what I, I don't want to talk about, like, I don't want to make myself into this kind of certain mm -hmm. moment where I actually support them. The thing is, it's kind of hard because I do kind of support it, but in the same way, I don't get mm -hmm. it. I still respect the norm in my country, but I do think those people, they can do whatever they want mm -hmm. as long as I'm not bugging them or I don't want to okay. be I don't want to be that kind of person who oh look at them they're weird because they like each other and stuff mm -hmm. I don't want to be that kind of person that's uncool I mean if they want to do something like yeah the things that they want to do I don't I don't really care because I don't want to bug them or t like be a teacher and then tell uh -huh. them no that's not the right thing to do because who am I like literally who am I I'm not I'm nobody I'm a nobody I'm just a speck of dust no. who walks this earth mm -hmm. Get it? That's really interesting, and we're going to continue after the call break, okay? So stay tuned with us in Venus TV face to face with Barry and Omar. So smart viewers, welcome back to Venus TV face to face with Barry and Omar. So welcome back. Welcome back. I'm back. I'm, I'm still back. here actually. <laughs> okay, so it was an interesting topic to talk about. Mm -hmm. Most people probably think love, like, oh, it's about intimacy. Intimacy, it's about yeah. Passion. It's about affection. Like you must kiss your partner <laughs> to show the love. <laughs> but it's more than that, right? It's yeah, more it's than more than that, that actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I told you, like more and there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you can do with love by mm -hmm. spreading love by doing things like helping each other and then like supporting each other each other it's the simple norm actually you don't have to like touch them or like put your lips on their lips uh -huh. that's another meaning of love okay so with this many kind of form actually there's one point that that interests me about mm -hmm. what, what you said especially like about the norms mm -hmm. you said you kinda you kinda support them, huh? but you kinda you kinda know it. But yeah. here we want to implement it. Like I I don't know. Like it's a bit it's a bit contradicting. But because I know it's hard. But uh -huh. how can you really uh, really take uh, an, an action it here? Are are you gonna move to to the to another topic? Can it that can involve love or? you stick to this topic and work hard to implement it with those social norms and stuff like that? Well, actually, uh, I work hard with everything that I say. Mm -hmm. Like, I, a lot of my friends will always judge me, but like, why are you being so open-minded about things like mm -hmm. that? It's weird. You don't need to like support that kind of stuff. And I was like, well, honestly, can I ask you this, man? Mm -hmm. And then my, my friend was like, okay, what? Why are you being so judgmental? Like, 
look at yourself, man. Look at the mirror. Look at this mirror, and then look at yourself. Like, you can't. Honestly, you can't judge somebody because of their having these issues, or maybe mm -hmm. they 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 are born in that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Get it? I mm -hmm. mean, if you, if you want to pity pity them, pity, but don't judge them and feel sorry for them. Because I think they doesn't need our sorry. They doesn't. They they actually don't need our pity. They could live their life to the fullest, and we could live our life to the fullest. Like. Why can't we all walk this earth and then just like be happy peace. together, like peace, man? <laughs> like literally spreading peace is that easy, actually. Okay, talking about the norms again. Mm -hmm. um, okay, how far do you think us, let, or let's say you, who is the supporter mm -hmm. of this of this kind of movement? I don't know what to say. Like movement. Let's say it's a movement. Mm -hmm. You as the supporter of this movement that you want to implement this, mm -hmm. how far do you think is your responsibility mm -hmm. to implement this? Like, you cannot really implement it like, merely implement it like, here it is, boom, because oh, yeah. it's contradicting with the norm. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Well, actually, it's more like, it's more into the individual kind of thing. S maybe someday if I have a family mm -hmm. and, a k and kids and stuff like that, I will teach my kids to like respect others and then to be more open-minded into new stuff they don't need to follow it or support it but just learn to appreciate others get it mm -hmm. and maybe in this situation right now in this particular moment right now maybe i could like help out my friends who's mm -hmm. who's maybe a little bit more close-minded and stuff like that maybe i could like literally ask them to be more like yo guy yo dude you can chill a little bit more you don't need to you don't need to be so close-minded and mm -hmm. stuff like that you don't need to n call names and like oh he's a he's a cc or can i say that yeah 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 sure. he's it's a cc okay. or something he's g a a g a y or something mm -hmm. like that that's uncool i mean you mm -hmm. could call him anything but maybe not that sexual orientation kind of stuff that's uncool get it mm, okay so in uh, this uh, in the social me media media world, uh, how do you think can the youth, mm -hmm. especially the teenagers, in ah, this era the teenagers can, can can contribute at least contribute just a bit, just a bit. What what advice do you think can we spread here that will like at least rewire their mind a bit, just a bit? <laughs> Actually, by starting to love themselves, mm -hmm. by loving them, by loving themselves, they could actually you know, be happy, like literally happy. There's a lot of people out there, teenagers out there, who's not really happy, like act not actually happy. Mm -hmm. They could like see themselves as, as this minority and then mm -hmm. they think that this particular person that they hate is this the, the majority or something, yeah, right? I don't know the word, anyway. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that could contradict and make something, you know, into this emptiness inside of them. That's why I want people to love themselves then learn to love others, get it? Mm -hmm. You can't love anybody, but you can't, when you can't even love yourself. That's kind of cuckoo. <laughs> That's cuckoo, man. Okay, so like, when you love yourself, then you can start to love mm -hmm. others. Because yeah. if, if not, you might do this, uh, how to say, it, like the application, you would applicate it to, to someone and mm -hmm. you would start hating these people. Ah, right? uh, yeah. That's why, uh -huh. that's why, man, a lot of people out there, why do I say a lot of people out there that often, though? Mm -hmm. uh, people like out there. Some people. Some, some people, people. Some, some, pe some people. certain people is, a ve is very, you know, like I said before, judgmental. Indonesian people. Indonesian people are very judgmental mm -hmm. at some point, but I love you, country, my country. I love <laughs> you. Peace out. But I'm sorry, but this country is pretty much judgmental and that's mm -hmm. why I want all of them to like love themselves first okay. and then accept new stuff, be open-minded. Okay. That's really interesting. Apparently we have reached the end of our segment today mm -hmm. and so thank you so much for being here to become our guest and it's really happy to have you here. So uh, see you in the same time and place in Venus TV on Face to Face. Rec uh, live from the Venus TV studio, see you again with Barry and see you again. Thanks to the crew as well. <laughs>